Hello everyone and uh, welcome to what I hope to be a quick tutorial on uh, some particle systems and using animations inside the particle systems. Uh, I couldn't find anything on this so I decided to make my own tutorial on it. So let's go. Uh, here we are, def default screen. Uh, we are going to delete the cube and the lamp. So delete that and because we are going to be using cycles render. Let's also clear out all the, uh, the camera data. We're going to hold down Alt, R for rotation, G for location. Uh, let's rotate it, R, on the X axis, X, and we'll go 90. And uh, we'll just drag it back here. Now let's add a plane. And this is going to be our emitter. And uh, here in the object data, we can call it that. Uh, emit. We'll just, that's good. Uh, real quick, let's change our w world settings. Uh, I don't want a gray color. Let's go to sky texture. I have a turbidity set to 2.2. Uh, I'll just turn this down a little bit. And we go in my camera view by hitting zero on the number pad. And then I'm going to go to rendered. And we're going to make it just about dusk or dawn. So I'm just going to drag that over like that. And turn it up a little bit. Eh, that's, that's good enough. Oh, no, I don't like it. We'll call that good. Change this back. We're going to go to wireframe. Let's uh, pick our camera up. Grab it, G, on the Z axis. Because this is a different perspective. Now let's add our particles. So we grab our emitter plane. Uh, we don't want a thousand birds. We're going to do about 30. Not 300. Uh, we'll have them start at 1, end at frame 20. And uh, we want them to last the whole time, so we're going to change this to 300. We don't want them disappearing randomly. Uh, we're going to change the emission faces is fine. Let's go to random on this. Uh, emitter, normal 1 is good. Let's change X to 1 also. So I want them to fly off in this direction. Uh, size, I'm going to turn down to 30 under physics. And uh, then under field weights here, I'm going to turn off gravity. So uh, let's see what we got going on now. That works. I like that. Now... We need our bird. This is not an animation tutorial, so I already have a bird, a low poly bird that's been animated, and I'm just going to use that as the basis to create a flock of birds. And uh, so I'm going to go to a new layer. I'm going to go, I'll put it on layer two. I'm going to go file, append, and I already have the file opened up, and I want my bird mesh and the armature. I'm going to link it. And uh, this is what's going on with my bird. Um, yeah. If I click on the armature, you see my animation runs out before I'm done here, so I'm going to change that to... Uh, and make it end at frame 200. So my animation won't run out. So what would happen now if I, if I use this as a basis for my uh, particle system, then uh, I'll have all the birds flapping in unison, which would like look just awful. So uh, I'm going to duplicate this guy. So I'll just hit A, select everything on the layer, and uh, Shift D to duplicate it, and to drag it up above this one. Change our view to one. Set it to orthographic. Uh, 
So you'll see, yeah, birds flapping in unison looks a little silly. So let's change to our animation editor. And we're going to go in here. to our key editor. We're going to deselect everything. And we're going to select every, everything under armature. 0 0.001, because this is our duplicate. So I'll hit B to give me my box select. I'm going to select that whole line of the animation. And I'll change my view back to 1 and orthographic. And I just want to drag the keyframes until this is basically the opposite of this to give me some variation. And you can duplicate this multiple times and do the same thing, but uh, for this tutorial, we're just gonna do two birds as our basis. So inside the keyframe editor, I'm gonna hit G for grab. And I'm just gonna drag it. I'll hold down shift so I can drag it a little more. Fine tune it. Oh, well, what's happening is this uh, this is where we're at currently on the animation. Let's, uh, let's bring, back to this, bring that back to the start so we can see what we're actually doing. So once again, grab it, and we're just going to drag it. And right there's about the complete opposite of this animation. So then I uh, start the animation by hitting Alt-A. I can see that they are no longer in unison, which will give us a little more variation in the flock. Like I said, you could du duplicate this a couple more times to put it, the, the other birds at different points in the animation to give you lots of variety, but this will be good for the tutorial. Uh, let's go back to our default. And uh, we want to group these birds together. We're going to select both the bird meshes and we're gonna hit Control G to create a group. Then under Object Data, we're gonna name this group our birds. Now we select. I'm gonna go back to our first layer. We're gonna select our particle system, and under the uh, Oh, I'm in object data under the particles here. I want to uh, change this to group. I'm going to select birds. And now if we go here. Uh, let's uh, I'll change this just so I can refresh the, the cache. Hit Alt A to start the animation. It's a bunch of frozen birds flying, so that's not going to do. Let's go over here. I'm going to select this, this guy. Go to Object. And Apply Visual Transform. And hopefully that will do it. Let's go here and uh, hit Free All Bakes. And I just need to clear the cache, basically. Yeah. Change some settings around. Back it up. Now if I hit Alt A, and nothing's happened. Uh, why? I, I don't know why Blender does this, but it's really difficult to really clear my cache. Uh, and uh, I don't know why it's giving me so many problems, but a good way to do it is I'm going to add some force fields to this. So I'm going to hit Shift A, force field. I want to add a wind and rotate it like this. Grab it. And. Uh, under the settings here, I'm going to turn up the strength just a little bit like that. Hit Alt A. Nice. That's beautiful. Now let's uh, let's add a little uh, a little more randomness to their uh, their flight pattern. Uh, 
I'm hit shift A again, force field. Let's add some turbulence. Uh, we'll turn this up a little bit. Turn up the size a little bit and a little bit of noise. A little more on the strength. What do we get? And let's rotate this just a little bit because I want it to fly up a little bit more. There. That's beautiful. I like that. Well, I hope this has been helpful. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And have a great day.